dear students in this video we are going to solve the problem from z transform the question is prove that z of n that's equal to z over z minus 1 the whole square comma mod c is greater than 1 so we are going to prove this term first we, before we start the solution we recall the definition of z transform what is the definition so we know that c of x of n equal to your formula is summation n equal to 0 to infinity x of n times z to the power of minus n this is the formula you should by heart this this is the formula for z transform So now, here x of n is there, it will come inside x of n into z to the power of minus n. Similarly, we are going to find the term of c of n. Here this n is there. The next is z of n equal to just you apply the place. Here n is there, then the formula also having n is in this place. So, z of n equal to the summation, this term, we copy this term, and the place of x n, you put n. So, summation n equal to 0 to infinity, n into c to the power of minus n. In the formula, we just use here, n is there, so we can use n here. Just we put the term n. Now, we apply the formula. Next, you move the term, negative n is there, z to the power of negative n. You bring down the term into positive of n. So, c to the power of minus n is equal to 1 over c to the power of positive of n. This n go down, the sign will be changed into positive. So, next up we are going to move the z power minus n down. So, that is equal to again summation n equal to 0 to infinity. We copy the first term, the second term moving down. So, n over c to the power of positive of n. This negative sign change into positive while it is moving to the denominator. Now, you start apply the values of n. What is the values of n? n is starting is 0. Our final is infinity. This is starting ending. This is starting value 0. Ending value equal to infinity. So, we start from 0 to infinity. 0, 1, 2, 3 up to infinity. First, you put 0. Your answer is here 0 here 0. So, n value 0, you get 0 by c to the power of 0. Next, summation. Summation means you plus put symbol, plus symbol. Next is, again you put the value of null, you apply 0. Next, we choose the value 1. So, here you put what, what value you can put? 1. So Now, it will become 1 by c to the power of 1. Next, summation. Summation means plus symbol. Again, you put the value. Now, 0, 1 applied. Next, you are going to put 2 value. So, here you put the value of 2 here. So, now you get 2 over c to the power of 2 plus next you put 3. So, you get 3 over c to the power of 3 plus etc up to infinity. So, here you put n value 0, 1, 2 up to infinity. Now, 0 by any number 0, this can, value can be written as 0 over z to the power 0. This is equal to 0 over z to the power 0. Any number plus 0, 1. Zero, 0 by anything, 0. So, 0 by 1 is 0. So, the total value can be vanished. So, because of 0. So, the first term equal to 0. The second term, 1 over c. The third term, 2 over z square. Fourth term, 3 over c cube. Next, you can imagine that might be 4 by c to the power of 4 plus etc. Plus the final term is infinity. Now, we can form the binomial formula. We, uh, we know the formula. Here, see that 1, 2, 3 are occurring. 1, 2, 3, 
4 are occurring. We have related one formula for that and down also 1 by c, 1 by c square, c cube, c power 4 also coming. So we know one formula that is binomial expansion. The formula is 1 minus x to the power of minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 3x square plus 4x cube plus etc plus up to finally infinity and one more condition they are given mod x is less than 1. Now we are going to check that whether the formula so I fix it or not. So first is 1 plus 2x see 1 2x 3x square. So I check here plus 1 you want. So here this term you want 1. Next is 2x is 2x. Here square is there. 3x square but cube is there. Now what I am going to do taking 1, 1 by z outside. The power 1 by z term outside in all the terms. So taking 1 over z outside. Now 1 over z outside this c cancel here power 1. Here only 1 c is there. Here c square only be there. Here c cube will be there. So in all the terms taking the denominator 1 c outside. So the next step becomes 1 by c I am taking outside. Now how it will become? This can be written as after taking 1 only be there. The second term 2 by c. The third term 3 by c square. So 1 plus 2 over c plus 3 over c square next might be 4 over c cube plus etc up to plus infinity this is equal to 1 over c of 1 plus now i form this as a numerator form 1 over c combining 2 times 1 over c here 3 times 1 over c the whole square here 4 times 1 over c the whole cube like that i am going to change the terms so second term can be changed as 2 times 1 over c. This term can be written as 3 times 1 over c the whole square. Or if you feel difficult you just split it. This can be written as the, this term 2 over c can be split as 2 times of 1 over c. Next is this term can be split as 3 times of 1 over c the whole square. So 3 times of. 1 over c the 1 over c square. This term can be split as 4 over 1 over c cube. So 4 over 4 times 1 over c cube plus etc up to plus infinity. Now again we are combining so 1 over c the next step plus here 1 you just copy the same 1 here. Here this can be written as same thing. So 2 of 1 over c plus 3 of now you can assume that the square is on both sides suppose you square 1 square equal to again you get what you get 1 so 1 over c square only so this 1 over c square is square then written as 1 over c the whole square if you square again you get 1 over c square only 1 square equal to 1 so the next step is 4 times of this can be written as 1 over c the whole cube you separate cube also you get the same thing 1 cube equal to 1 c cube equal to c cube so plus etc up to infinity now you combine the formula see that in the formula what is there here 1 is there here 1 verified here 2x here 2 times x is equal to 1 over c next is 3 times x square here 3 times x square 4 times x cube here 4 times x cube so, we comparing the terms. The terms are like your formula. 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube etc up to infinity. So, now we are going to use the term. This is equal to 1 minus x the whole power minus 2. So, this term, the inside term is equal to 1 over x to the power of minus 2. Here, x value, what is the x value? x is equal to 1 over z. So, we apply the formula in the next step we get this is equal to 1 over c is already outside this is already outside 
Now inside I am going to apply the formula. That is the formula of 1 minus x power minus 2. So 1 minus x power minus 2. Here you check it. What is your x value? x value is z. 1 over z. So x value is 1 over c. Now this is equal to 1 over c. Here you are taking LCM. You cross multiple. Here nothing means 1. You can assume. So again you cross multiple. So here c. Here 1. So z minus 1. The bottom you can assume here also 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. The whole to the power of minus 2. Now we are switch over. This term can be turned into positive. How do you turn this negative turn into positive? You switch over the top to the bottom. Bottom move to the top. You move to the reciprocal numerator to the denominator. And the denominator to the numerator. It's just switch over these two terms. So I am going to switch over. This can be written as the bottom. Sorry here. Just see. I repeat it. Here this is z naught. Here you cross multiple. 1 times z is z naught 1. So z. Now we are switch over these two terms. These two can be minus 2 can be positive of 2. So now what happened? I am writing cc. This is can be written into positive of 2. I am going to switch over inside terms. C is going up. Z minus 4 is coming down. So I just switch over these two terms. Next is outside. You consider outside 1 by C is there. Just repeat the same time 1 over C. So after some calculation we get... That is equal to this term. Next is split the square separately. Here the squares are common. See that the square for z and z minus 1. So split the squares. Now you get that is equal to 1 over c. Here c square by z minus 1 the whole square. Because this square, this square, this is common for two terms. We split it now. Next what do you do? You can cancel the z. Here 1 z cancel. Here power 1 cancel. So remaining you get what do you get only z to the power 1. So c to the power 1 over z minus 1 the whole square. Now after some cancellation you get the term. So now what do you get your left hand side value z of see z of n is starting with z of n. So after some long <coughs> calculation you get final answer c over z minus 1 square. So your answer is z of n is equal to z over c minus 1 the whole square. Now you get this term and one more term also in the question they are asking. What are they asking? They are asking you how to do that mod c is greater than 1. So we check the formula. This is your formula. Here they give one condition mod x is less than 1. So now again you compare here mod x is less than 1. This is from the formula. What is your x value? Our x value is check the previous page x value equal to here 1 by c 1 by c is our x value so 1 by c you put 1 by z is less than 1 here x value equal to 1 by c split the modulus on both sides here mod 1 mod z here modulus is common this modulus is common for both terms i separate for numerator and the denominator so modulus of 1 over modulus of z is less than 1 here first term modulus bottom term modulus now you just cross multiple here you cross multiple you get what you get here also you can cross multiple here nothing means we can achieve the bottom is one so one times mod one again you get mod one here one times z is equal to modulus of z now mod one equal to one only this is a number so modulus of a equal to a modulus of any number equal to you get the positive number negative five means also positive five so modulus of one equal to you get one is less than mod z now we are reverse in order write the terms in reverse order so z is coming this way this mod 1 is going that way now it will change into mod z is greater than 1 because we are switch over these two terms this go there this come here that time write the terms in reverse order so less than will be changed into greater than so mod z is greater than 1 this is your answer now we obtain so after some long calculation we get mod c is greater than 1 therefore final answer is this is your final answer we obtain the answer in the question they are asking prove that these two terms z of n equal to z over 
z minus 1 the whole square comma mod z is greater than 1 now we obtain the answer we proved here we have to recall two formulas the first formula that is c transform what is c transform definition that should be memory you have to memory this formula and one more formula we are using that is the binomial expansion x1 minus x to the power minus 2 equal to 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube plus x square plus infinity comma one more condition it satisfied that is mod x is less than 1. You should memory these two terms. We applied and finally we obtained the answer. Thank you.